Now, some what the Farage moments today that have really made me think. Take your minds back, if you can, to the 1970s. And if you can't, let me tell you, it was pretty awful. The rubbish piling up and Leicester Square, I mean, turned into a complete heap. Inflation going through the roof. Trade unions flexing their muscles. Tax rates going up and talented people leaving the country. That was how it felt for much of the 1970s. It was awful. But I'm beginning to wonder whether there isn't a slight touch of deja vu around the place because inflation is going up more quickly than the Bank of England expected. Taxes are going up in the spring. You will all feel it. Taxes on national insurance for employees, for employers, and taxes on dividends too. And a government that can't guarantee they won't raise taxes again. But surely, surely we could never see the scenes of rubbish piling up on Britain's streets. Or could we have a look at Brighton? This is Brighton today, not in 1979. And Brighton is run by the Green Party and they're having a big row with all of the waste disposal drivers and crews and rubbish is piling high. In some streets, it's six to eight feet high. And, of course, with that, you've got vermin, you've got foxes tearing open bags, rubbish strewn all over the street. Now, it was Liam Halligan, who, of course, is GB News' economics editor, who's been banging on for some months, saying we could be facing a winter of discontent. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be as bad as the 1970s, but goodness me, we do have, do we not, some shades of it. And by the way, no prospect, no prospect that that strike action in Brighton is going to end between now and the middle of November. That's what's on the cards at the moment, and I feel very sorry for the residents of Brighton. I really do. Education is something that I've been really worried about for a long time. What is being taught to children in schools, universities, and a real what the Farage moment here. It is truly incredible that in one school, teachers have been banned from calling pupils' behaviour good or bad because the school is trying to avoid using emotional phrases while managing discipline. The headmaster at the private Loughborough Amherst School in Leicestershire has instead asked staff to describe behaviour as skilful or... Un I mean, you couldn't make this up. As skilful or unskilful. He is hoping to take the emotional heat out of language at the independent school for children aged 4 to 18. Now, it costs 13 and a half grand uh, to send your child there. Uh, there are 313 pupils at the school. And the headmaster has said, what I don't want teachers to be soft, I also don't want them to be shouty and make pupils feel guilty. I mean, you almost can't believe it, can you? That if we're going to stop teaching children the difference between good and bad, the difference between right and wrong, we might as well give up. I've got to tell you, I certainly wouldn't be sending my children to a school with that ethos. Now, the biggest What the Farage moment, for me, perhaps in weeks, is Superman. We all know, don't we, Clark Kent, married to Lois Lane, the great superhero who goes out and, of course, wants to take on the enemy and save the world. And he is this big, masculine, alpha male figure, uh, described by one of his filmmakers as one of the most heterosexual role models he'd ever seen. Well, on the endangered species list are alpha males. It's just, you're not allowed to be like that anymore. So we now have a new Superman, and it is indeed the son. It's John Kent. And John Kent uh, is coming out in DC Comics as being bisexual. Uh, that's just the beginning. But what he's also going to be doing is he's going to be fighting some different campaigns. Rather than taking on enemies that could destroy the world. Now, he's going to do some rather different things. He'll be fighting against climate change. That's a very, very important part of what he'll be doing. And in particular, something that is incredibly political. He will be campaigning against the deportation of those who do not qualify as refugees and have entered America illegally. 
Now, that is all astonishing. But what really, really got to me was the author, Tom Taylor, who has written this new script, was asked whether his complete change of the character and the issues and battles that he fought on, he was asked what the reaction from the audience was. And he said, oh, many people, most people have been strongly supportive, but of course there are a few trolls. Yes, if you don't agree with the new political Superman, if you don't agree with the campaigns that he's fighting, you are now effectively a troll, and this is how free speech gets attacked. And I don't like it one little bit. And lastly, hot off the press, I mean, talk about what the Farage, Matt Hancock, who, as viewers of this show will know, I always thought was extraordinarily useless, has been hired as a special representative on financial innovation and climate change for the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Financial innovation. I mean, this is a bloke whose local publican got a PPE contract. In fact, thinking about it, if there's lots of UN money floating around, there might be quite a few African regimes who really will welcome him into the job.